friends how are you uh, in today's session i will explain more than 30 different date formats in c sharp so here i have listed all the important date formats and uh, i will uh, um, write a c sharp application where you will see the output of all these date formats so let's me create a console application in visual studio 2022 And here I will uh, click on this option. Let's search for a console app. Here, uh, here uh, I can select the .NET Core version or the .NET Framework version. So I will use .NET Core uh, 6.0. That is why I will select this option and click on Next. And here I will just give a normal name to my project. At this time, it will be console app 2. Uh, click on next. And from the drop down, you can select uh, any .NET Core version. I will select the 6.0. Cli uh, click on create. Here you can see that uh, a very simple uh, .NET uh, 6 console application created successfully. Uh, you can see that uh, in the program.cs class, there is no uh, namespace keyword, there is no uh, class keyword like public class, uh, like in normal c -sharp application. So Microsoft remove all the extra stuffs in the .NET 6 version, uh, and they make the program.cs class very simple. No, there is nothing. Let's have, uh, if I remove all the things. No, I will uh, add all this format first in a list of string, and then I will print in the console. So let's me create a list of string. String, and uh, the name should be dif different date formats like in this way. Now I will add all these date formats to this uh, to this uh, variable of type uh, list of string. Okay. So I can add in this way. Let me copy the first one. Second one. In the third one. Okay. So there are uh, lots of formats, and uh, for the time uh, saving purpose, I have already uh, added all these to this variable. That is why I will just copy and paste here the remainings. All that right now here I will create uh, a variable of type daytime variable current date and I will initiate it with the current time and date right we declare a variable of type uh, list of string we added all the date formats uh, in this variable, and now I, I have created a uh, date time variable. In this line, I will uh, iterate to all these format using the for each loop so that we can see the result in the console. Uh, variable format in different date formats and here I will print in the console console dot write line so in this place lets me put some data like in this way uh, the inside the curly braces I will put zero and I will replace this zero 
with this one, with the format, right? No one uh, in the for each loop, uh, these zero uh, inside the curly braces uh, will be replaced by the format, right? And I will give no here a space, two space. And here I will print the format. So I will again put the curly braces and here I will put one. And I will replace this one here by another variable. And it will be current date dot to string. And here in the string, I will just give a format. Now this line of code will print all the date format because I am iterating in the for each loop by the list of these, uh, the different date formats. So let's me uh, save all this data and run the application. Uh, let's me put here a debugger and also put here a debugger. No. Click on these to run the application. OK, the debugger is heated. Let us me forward. Next, next. You can see that currently we have added at least uh, 8 items. If I just go, we have 15 items. And at this point, all the um, formats of dates will be added. So click on continue, mouse over here. You can see that total we have 27 formats, right? No, I will attach here through all this format. To the uh, console, you can see that uh, the date format is printed here. Uh, Let us me just stop the debugger and put here some format also, like in this way. It format. Okay. Output will be this one. So let me continue again the application. Continue and continue. Uh, just go to the console. The date format is this and the output is this. Uh, for this date format, the output is this. Now let us me remove the debugger and continue. Go to the console. Let us me stop the application and continue again. The application again. I think something went wrong. Let me see again. Okay, no, it works fine. Here, all the date formats you can see for this format. Uh, for this format, the output is uh, the output is this one. For this format, output is this one. For this lengthy um, date format, here we have the output, and for this format, we have these. Uh, date output. So you can see that uh, I have printed all the dates format uh, in C sharp and you can use these uh, date formats according to your needs and requirements. For the AM format you can see this one which is the uh, for, uh, format and here we have the output. So you can use all these date formats according to your needs and requirements. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.